My name is Waldo Etherington, I'm a technical rigging specialist. Today we're going to be taking a look at the DMM bat plate and the rigging hub. And we're going to be rigging a free fall rope jump. Okay. Three, two, one, see ya. So we're just going to go through some of the features and talk about how we're rigging it up in this particular situation. So we're going to need a bit of separation in the system and we're going to launch ourselves off the edge of this bridge, free fall for about 15, 16 meters, and then have a really high velocity pendulum swing that's going to send us out the other side of this bridge. So essentially this large back plate, what it does is it just gives us separation in the rigging. The reason you'd use a larger one like this is in case you've got lots of components moving out the front and moving out the back lots of guys to the back, lots of anchors. That means you've got individual holes to put them to. If you've got more operation happening on the front and the back, you can simply flip that rigging plate around. It gives you a bit more options. Another thing I love about this rigging plate is it's got really nicely rounded milled aluminium. So you can actually tie straight into this with your guys instead of having to clip carabiners. So it's, it's a really nice versatile bit of kit. So this is gonna be a pre-tension front tie. Essentially, it's just an oppositional anchor. It's not going to feel a lot of the load once the system's in play. But what it is going to do is just keep our systems floating. And this is one of the key components of rigging that I use in, in all my systems. What it does is it just lifts everything off the ground and makes it much more user friendly. And that does a number of things. It's, first of all, it's, it's easier for you to use the systems. And secondly, it keeps all the ropes off the ground, reduces the trip hazards, and just makes the rigging much, much cleaner. And we call it an opposition front tire. This is just another complementary anchor because we want the separation in the system to centralise the swing because we're sort of threading a needle here. It's only 10 metres wide. And with such a big free fall, there's a possibility of sort of oscillations. So to decrease some of that potential pendulum, we're centralising it in a big giant Y hang. So this separation, we've got the length of the Land Rover, which is going to be our main anchor. We're going to anchor to these ancient, probably not very strong stanchions as well, just to creep the rigging out a little bit. They won't be feeling a lot of force. And that'll also help with the sort of shift of the Land Rover in case it wobbles on the suspension to keep everything millimetre perfect. What we've done here is essentially reeved these linear anchors between the carabiner on the anchor here and the rigging hub itself. On the rigging hub, we haven't used a carabiner. We've just gone straight into the rigging hub. And what this gives us is, first of all, it's the adjustability element, but also extreme strength. Although we're using a very thin cord here, this is actually 5.5 mil Dyneema, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six strands of it in the system, which is far, far stronger than any static rope we've got with us. The rigging hub is obviously circular, so it gives us slightly different shape to work with. Because we've only got two systems running off each side, we don't need a huge amount of separation. The rigging hub obviously differs from the bat plate in the fact that it is circular. So it gives us slightly less separation. In this instance, that doesn't really make a difference for us because we've got enough separation for each of the systems in this space here. What's great about this rigging hub is it's got this giant central hole, which is really rounded. Having this rounded edge means you can feed ropes directly through this. You can tie into that and it gives you a really, really strong central point to anchor to. Today we've been rigging with the DMM bat plate and the rigging hub. The hub, really versatile. You can tie in these textile friendly attachment points here. And whether you're doing high impact tree surgery, technical rigging, theatrical rigging, it lends itself well to multiple aspects of technical rigging. And the bat plate, again, really user friendly, really low gain, nice degree of separation and incredibly useful bits of kit to have in your arsenal. Trust the rigging, <laughs> but put your money where your mouth is, it's kind of full on. <laughs> Three, two, one, see ya. Whoop.